Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, please go to the Google and YouTube, search for the Alien Tax Champion and subscribe to the channel. This channel is meant for the technical news related to the Microsoft Intune and in this video I am going to uh, show you how you can register the applications in the Azure. So as you see this is Microsoft uh, Azure portal and, and, and then if you go to the app registrations, you see click on all applications and you have to click on registered application so why you want to register this application maybe uh, you want to right so this registering in applications means once you register the applications right then you you'll able to uh, you will your applications will get the to I mean if you, um, your, your applications will generate the token and authenticate with another uh, another uh, applications like any other tool any other third party tools right so so this is the and and if you are actually integrating like service now or cisco iic or your any third party certificate authority servers you have to register this applications here in the azure and so that those those third party applications like Cisco IIC or any third party CA server like DG Cert or Global Sign or Entrust or ServiceNow application can access through the Graph API or Microsoft Azure Active Directory so that they can run, uh, they can get the details from your tenants through these applications, right? Through the API. So, how you can register? Like, you have to register the applications, that, that is the purpose of this application and inside the applications you have to grant some api permission and that and so that 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 the api uh, that api url and the tenant code everything your your third party application can use it and get the device details from your intune tenants so you have to give like any like register applications or test applications i'm just giving the name test app okay you can give it as per you see account in this organization directory so if you want to uh, create application in within your directory or any organizations like multi-tenant if you have or multi-tenant like personal or your personal microsoft account so i'm just selecting this one and you can give the redirection url if you want this is optional and click on register so I'm just uh, creating one application and it will show you because most of the uh, wondering how you can register the application and you see as soon as we register we the, the display name is there and you get the application ID you can just click and copy it you can see the object ID here and you can see the directory ID which is tenant ID and if you click on the endpoint you will see this all this URL oath right the url token endpoints so if you want to generate authorize an endpoint token endpoint and authorize an endpoint these all are graph api endpoint right graph.microsoft.com and this federation and everything so all these if based on the requirement you can get the url and the tenant id and the application id and run the command now to, if you want to give for uh, you have to give some permissions here so just click on api permission and click on add permissions here and there are multiple um, things are there like you if you want to take advantage of like the graph api you can click on if you want to give in tune just click on you your application need access to the api is assign users right our application run a background service so if you want to give a delegated access like data data warehouse access to this right and then you have to you see here get data warehouse get data warehouse information from intune and then you have to grant the permissions here as soon as you grant the permission it will status will mark as a granted right so this is how you can grant the api permissions after registering the application and then you 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 can go to the uh, go to the uh, certificates and secrets and you can upload the certificates if you have right so you just go to uh, i have sample certificate i'm just uploading it and just give it 
any any certificate like root certificate or any any ic right like ic or anything just upload the certificate and you see the descriptions root certificate ic and you can also copy and delete it so you can upload multiple certificate this certificate actually will identify uh, themselves to authenticate services when receiving the token from any uh, any um, uh, address like HTTPS locations right so we recommend actually use the use the certificate um, authentications right so that if if any uh, if if any of the applications uh, like your third party applications or tool try to access uh, any resource uh, based on the API permission uh, from the Intune, they should use the token-based enrollment, token-based uh, authentications, and so that the user and credential won't be shared. Okay. Uh, so I hope you learn how you can register the application on on Microsoft on, on the Azure, Azure portal and how you can uh, upload the certificates and grant the permissions to that. And and then once you register, then you can use that all these details like as I mentioned the graph API um, application ID and points and access that uh, the resources from from the Microsoft into internet till then thank you and have a good day and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel bye bye